In today's video, we're gonna check out some of the Storyteller rigs. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from the Tampa RV Show. I'm here at the Storyteller setup. For those of you that know, I'm taking out a Storyteller for three weeks next month, which will be really cool. But I ran into them here at the Tampa RV Show. They've got all three of their rigs here. So I figured I'd show you some of the rigs. Without further ado, let's go check out some Storytellers. Okay, if you watch my friends Chad and Paul, you'll know that they traded in their Travato for a Storyteller recently. Well, this is actually their Storyteller, their mode. I mentioned earlier there are three types of Storytellers, the Classic, the Stealth, and the Beast mode. Chad and Paul's rig, and the first one we're gonna look at is the Classic, and it runs about 150K, comes in two different colors, and has some new features for 2021. We'll talk about the differences between the mode when we move on to the next two. What really differentiates Storyteller from other Class B vans is the fact that it's modular, hence the name Mode. You can transform your Storyteller into whatever mode fits your needs in that moment. Chad and Paul's rig is set up for shower mode, so let's go inside and see what that looks like. So the first thing that hits you when you walk into a Storyteller is how awesome the open floor plan feels. The second thing that hits you is, wait a second, where's the bathroom? Storyteller's philosophy is you only spend a small amount of time each day in the bathroom. So why does it take up so much room in a rig? So what they did was they hid the shower in the cabinet and hid the toilet and the shower pan in a compartment on the floor. I'll show you what that looks like when we go into the other vans that have the shower curtain stowed away. So I know what you're thinking, Kevin, is that really practical? Can you really take a shower in this thing? And I'm thinking the same thing. So we'll find that out together when I take this rig out in a couple weeks. Okay, let's check out some things I really like about this Storyteller. So like the Winnebago Solace and Revel, they put the refrigerator in a spot that you can access it both indoors and outdoors. I love this feature. It's really awesome. So you can grab a drink, a cold beverage or whatever. You also have this little fold down table here, just like the Revel. You can put your stove out here and you can cook and you have access to everything in your refrigerator. I love that feature. Maybe I'll start cooking if I have that ability. The first time you walk into a Storyteller, the thing you'll notice right away is the quality of the materials used on the interior. Most Class Bs feel kind of cheap inside, kind of like Ikea type furniture, but the Storyteller feels more like a custom build done with really good materials. I wouldn't normally agree to take out a van unless it was something that I would consider buying myself. And you guys know I'm a huge Volta fanboy and this rig has the Volta system. It actually has the 12,000 watt system, the same one that's in the Winnebago Bolt and my National Park Edition. So that's pretty cool. So this is built on a Mercedes chassis. So you got the beautiful Mercedes interior with the big giant screen that allows you to airplay from your iPhone, which is pretty awesome. As I swing around here, you'll see the awning style windows, which is a must, and the bench seat here, which I'll explain more about later in a rig that's not set up for shower mode. Back to the shower real quick. I forgot to mention that this shower curtain wicks water, which means it's not gonna get soaked. So when you store it, you shouldn't get mold and all that kind of stuff. But I'll test that out when I take one of these rigs out. You'll see here, you have a sink, you know, standard RV style sink. I like that it's round, I don't know why. Then you have your space free here because you have an induction stove top um, and it's portable. So you can put it on top of here when you need it. You can put it outside, cook outside. There's also no propane on this rig because there's no stove. You don't need it for that. And the heater uses diesel fuel. It just taps into your diesel tank since the Mercedes is a diesel. I really love that. So the only thing I have to worry about filling up is my diesel fuel tank. Okay, next up, let's talk about the stealth mode, but let me preface that by saying all of the storytellers are exactly the same on the inside. The differences are really on the outside. So the stealth mode is about $5,000 more than the classic mode. The only differences are really cosmetic. It comes in a different color. Everything is blacked out. It has a little bit different rim and tire setup, but it's pretty much the same thing. I do have to say, I love this color though. So all versions of the Storyteller are set up for four seasons. 
This box right here underneath the bed is where the Volta batteries are. Yes, the Volta batteries are inside. Thank you, Storyteller. Here you'll see the front seat is set up in lounge mode. You can change this into like four different configurations. I'll show you more of those as we go into other vans, but it's pretty cool. The front seats obviously swivel around. That's a must in a Class B van. Never buy a Class B van that does not have swivel. All right, let me show you the shower tucked in here. These cabinets are built with some solid wood. The hardware is really, really quality stuff. And you'll see your shower just folds up nice and neat in here. It's a pretty cool design if you ask me. You know what? Let me show you something here real quick. I keep talking about the quality of this build, but let me show you how rough and rugged this is. I'm gonna grab this thing here and I'm gonna start shaking it. If I did this in my rig, I would rip my cabinets off my wall. It's really solid. Let me put my camera down and show you this. This thing is built to handle a rough ride. Before we move on to the next mode setup, my friend Ryan is gonna help me out. Hit the subscribe button and give this channel a thumbs up. That was really awesome. Thank you, Ryan, for doing that. I met Ryan and his family. They watched the channel and Ryan graciously agreed to do a little commercial for me. So thank you, Ryan. After that, I ran into some more good sports that agreed to jump on the convertible love seat bed and show me if two people could actually fit on it. So this storyteller is set in sleep mode. Both of the beds are out. So as you can see, the love seat bed, two people fit on it. And then the bed in the back, storyteller claims someone who is up to 6'4 can fit on that bed back there. So that's pretty cool. It was really awesome that they were such good sports. I didn't catch their name, but they got my YouTube channel, so hopefully they watch and comment below. So this storyteller is set up in dinner mode or maybe even work mode. It's really cool that you can transform the storyteller to meet whatever your needs are that moment. Okay, let me put the camera down and show you all the seating positions. So there's this little love seat here. You can fit two people on it. You can fit one here and then one next to that person here. And then of course you can come on this other side. The light goes off on me here and it kind of confuses me. So disregard what I'm doing, but you could fit two people here. You have the lagoon table that rotates out and you have the two front seats as well. So if you really wanted to, you could fit six people in the storyteller for dinner. To me, all Class B vans start out as lumps of clay and the builders take that lump of clay and transform it into a work of art. To me, the Storyteller Beast Mode is a masterpiece. It's a Picasso. It's the Mona Lisa of vans. Of course, when you add all that cool stuff to a rig, it's gonna cost more. It comes in at about 190K. But if you're buying an adventure van, you're probably gonna dump a bunch of money into it, adding the things that this rig already has, like the brush guard, the rim package, the KC lights, all that kind of stuff. So it's something to think about. I'd probably cut off my pinky toe to have this rig. It's really cool. This beast mode right here is owned by a 30 to wake up subscriber and channel member, Todd. I met him at the Tampa RV show. Really cool guy. I hope to see him on the road. So you'll see here the beast mode has this agile off-road system that makes a more comfortable ride. It also has the 16 inch rim so it can have these huge 27 inch tires giving it even more ground clearance. I also forgot to mention that every storyteller has a roof rack, but it's one you can actually stand on and enjoy the view, which is pretty cool. I mentioned the beast mode has a lot of accessories that you would probably get anyway if you got an adventure van. One of those is the Owl Van Sherpa. If you don't know what these are, you can put a bunch of different things on them like water canisters, gas canisters, boxes all kinds of things. It's actually really cool. Of course, this is just a sticker, but you got the cool beast mode logo over here, which is just really cool. All right, let's go inside this thing. It's set up in an open floor plan mode. So that will allow me to show you some other features that I couldn't show you in the other vans. So when you open this door, you have this huge garage area because you have your bed folded up and you can latch down things in here, which really appeals to me because I have a motorcycle. I would get some kind of ramp and drive my motorcycle cycle up into here and latch it down. That way I wouldn't have to carry it on my hitch and worry about it getting dirty and damaged, things like that. As you come in here, you can see the shower pan right here. This is completely stowed. The Dometic toilet that comes with this actually stows in here. It's small enough to fit. 
and I'll lift it up here. You can see there's the shower pan. What many storyteller owners do is they set the toilet on top of here at night so they can just get up and use the toilet right there. And remember, even though I'm in a beast right now, all the storytellers are set up the same on the inside. So no matter which storyteller you get, it's gonna be set up like this. I know I probably sound like a huge storyteller fanatic, um, but I can assure you I'm not paid by storyteller. They are letting me take out the rig for three weeks, but we have no contract. They agreed that I can say the good, the bad, the ugly. They just are happy that I'll take it out and see if it's a viable option for someone like me that lives in their rig full time. All right, so those were the storytellers. Tell me what you think. Are you excited that I'm gonna be driving one of these around? Are you excited that Chad and Paul is gonna be living in one of them full time? Let me know. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Filling out my cup, coffee talk on the screen porch. So in love, now you're the one I'm losing sleep for. And I hope the wrong ones slip back right through your magic fingers. And I hope we find some way to fall in love like we were. Yeah, you're the only reason I was California dreaming in the first place.